Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how can we control a homemade smart bulb using Alexa. Turn on the light. Okay. Alexa, turn off the light. Okay. Interesting, right? Here I am not using any Alexa device, simply the app in my phone. Most of the videos available in the net not working fine for me and all of them were using an Alexa device. Here I do not have an Alexa device. So I came up with a solution where we do not need an Alexa device but we can control the light using an Alexa app. This is a simple method. Any rookie can try it. Let's continue the video with the required components and the step by step procedures. Let's begin with the items required. First we need a smartphone. In the previous video I had described in detail how to make a smartphone from the scratches. Then we need a Wi-Fi module. This is uh, ESP8266 module, very cheap Wi-Fi module, which helps us to connect our device with the Wi-Fi. Then we need a programmer. This is a programmer which we can use to program the ESP8266 module. In the previous video, I hadn't added this to LED, but in this uh, video, I'm adding this to LED with this setup so that I can monitor before connecting to any devices to see whether the pins are responsive to the commands we are giving. Then we need a FTDI module because uh, to connect this setup with the USB, we need a FTDI module and I will connect this here and I will fix the EFT module here and in the circuit you can see this switch I am pressing so that the GPI0, GPIO port 0 will get connected to the ground that will make this device in the flash mode. Then we after we done the programming. I disengage the GPA0, GPA0 pin from the ground so that it will go to the normal mode then I have to press the reset button to run the program from the memory here. Now we have to do some setups to make Alexa to communicate with our ESP module just to control the smart button. While I was surfing through the net, I found a method called ESP Alexa add device method but for me it was not working fine. Then another method I found is the Fox mode device method. For me this was also not working fine. Then I found a discussion about this Simtrick.com. This is a very easy method and it's very simple and no more steps are there. Only we have to get the library from the github.com and create an account here. So let's proceed with this method. First you have to create an account here. So you have to register, it's free. You have to give your credentials here, then submit. I already have an account. So I'm going to log in there with my account, with my details. Here you will have a key. This API key we have to use in our coding. And then you have to add a device here. Here you can give any device like a light, then description, whatever you want to give. Then the device type. I suggested here the switch method because I just have an on-off function. So you have to pick save. Then your device will be created here. This is the device ID. This also we have to do in our codes. That's it. Now we can move to the next steps. You have to get this particular uh, header, the library for this Cynric uh, files. So you can download here. I already have uh, given the link in the description for this uh, Cynric header. You have to download it. Once you download it, you will go to the library and here you can have some Arduino examples. I chosen this uh, simple switch example and this example I already edited here. The few steps you have to do here are this my API key. This key you will get from where? You will get it from your Simric account. This is the key, your API key you have to mention there. Then it comes to your Wi Fi SSID and your Wi Fi password. Then move on further, here you have to give the device ID. This device ID also you can get from your Simric server. This is your device ID here. The code I already given in the link in my Dropbox server. Now I connected my device with the PC. I have to choose my port. Everything set. Now I'm going to upload my program. Here my loading has done. Now I will open the serial monitor. Remember the board rate is 115200. Now I will switch my device from the flash mode to normal mode. 
but if you're changing the GPI or zero pin, then press the reset button. Once my ESP module get connected with the Wi-Fi and the server centric server, it will flash for three times, indicating it got connected. All set. Now we can move further by connecting our ESP module to the smart bulb. Now all our work has completed. I will take our IT module from the setup and I will take the bulb. I will place the IT module in the bulb. I will close it. Now our bulb is ready for testing. All connections are ready. The bulb is now connected with the power supply and I switch it on. It will flash for a while. Once it gets connected with the Wi-Fi and the Synrect server, it will flicker for three times. We have to wait until it flicker for three times to confirm whether it is connected with the server or not. Now it has got connected with the Wi-Fi and the server. Now I will turn on the Alexa app. Alexa, turn on the light. Okay. Alexa, turn off the light. Okay. So that's it friends. If you find this interesting, please like the video. If you have any suggestions or comment, please mention that down in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video. If you feel this is a good one, please like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Until I come back with a new idea, bye bye.